Hey, I'm Melissa Wick, and here is a gentle morning yoga practice, no experience needed. A few of my friends have been asking for a yoga video that they could follow along with, something for beginners, and so here it is. So slip into something comfortable and let's get started. So we're going to start on our backs and you're welcome to take a pillow under your head if you feel that would be more comfortable for you. So you can either begin in Shavasana, so corpse pose, legs stretched out, arms stretched out. You can bend the knees, feet wide, let the knees fall in to touch. Or you can bring the soles of your feet to touch and your knees open. Palms facing upwards just to keep an open heart. And then once you find your comfortable sweet spot, we'll take three full breaths, cleansing breaths, just to arrive here. So we'll take a big breath in through our nose. And exhale through the mouth. Two more times, inhale. Exhale out. Last one, inhale in. Exhale all the air out. And then closing your eyes if you haven't already and gently close the lips and breathe in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you. And as you inhale, feel the belly button rise and the ribs expand and the chest expand. And then as you exhale, feel the chest lower, ribs lower, belly lower. Take about four more breaths just like that. Starting to move away from our outside external worlds and tapping into our internal worlds, just checking in to see how we feel this morning. Notice if you're holding any expression on your face, soften the jaw. Following each inhale and each exhale. And then start to draw our knees in towards each other. You're welcome to keep the eyes closed and just listen to the sound of my voice. Or you can follow along here with your eyes. And start to rock your knees from side to side. Gently massaging out the low back. And then we'll open our arms up into a T, palm space up and then draw your shins parallel to the ceiling. So your knees stack over your hips. And then we're gently gonna drop our knees over to the left. You can slide onto the left side of the body. And then maybe you take your left hand just to support that right thigh. And if it's comfortable, you can draw your gaze over to the right hand and connect back to that breath if you've lost it. And with every exhale, let that right shoulder get a little heavier, gentle spinal twist. Release that right leg, gently tone the belly and use the core to draw your legs back up to center and then knees gently over to the right. Right hand can support the left thigh if that's comfortable and then gaze over to the left, relax that left shoulder down. Release the left thigh, gently tone the belly, draw your knees back up to center. And then let's just take our hands, interlace them just below the right knee and then extend the left leg, flex both feet, so toes towards the ceiling. And on your inhale, you're gonna draw your knee towards your chest. Keep that right hip lowered in line with the left. Exhale, knee comes closer in. Inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, draw the knee in. Really ground down through that left leg. So the left heel is drawing into the ground. Right toes flexed. And then take your left hand to your left hip bone and start to draw the right knee towards the right underarm. So just getting a different sensation in the stretch here. And then draw your knee back to center. You can bend the left leg, left foot flat on the mat and extend the right foot towards the ceiling. Interlace the hands behind the back of the thigh. See if you can relax your shoulder. You're welcome to use a strap here or a scarf or a tie and then reach through that right heel. So draw your awareness right there and push through that right heel, toes towards the face. If you find that your chin is starting to creep up, just lengthen the back of the neck by drawing the chin down. And then you're always welcome to extend the left leg long, keeping it active, both feet flexed. Keep that right long femur bone plugged into the right hip socket. Soften the jaw. And then your exhale, just allow that right leg to come down nice and slow. And let's just take a moment to notice the difference between the right side and the left side. Maybe one side feels a little tingly and the right side maybe feels a little longer or lighter. Just notice. And then from here, we'll inhale and bring our left knee in towards the chest. Flex the feet, interlace the hands just below the kneecap. And then as you inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, draw the left knee in closer towards the chest, keeping the left hip bone grounded, so down in line with the right hip, flex both feet, right heel draws into the mat, soften the shoulders, lengthen the back of the neck. And then take your right hand to your right hip bone and then draw the left knee towards the left underarm. Just finding your sweet spot here. Both feet are flexed. Inhale draws your knee back to center. You can start by bending the right knee flat, right foot on the ground and then extend the left foot towards the ceiling. Interlace the hands behind the back of the left thigh. Try to extend through the left heel, toes towards the face. Strap or towel is optional. Relax the shoulders here. And then draw your awareness, the sensations that you're feeling in the back of the left hamstring. Beautiful option to lengthen the right leg long keeping both legs active plug that left long femur bone right into the left hip socket one more breath Beautiful, and then release, gently lower the left leg down. Notice the difference. Maybe give yourself a little shimmy. Wiggle out the ankles, the toes, rock up and down. And then from here, we'll bend the knees back in. Take your hands underneath the kneecaps, and then lift the hips up and roll yourself forward. You can either cross at the ankles, bring the hands forward, or just come over through the side and find tabletop. So fingers are spread really wide, wrists underneath the shoulders, and hands are shoulder width distance apart. Knees are hip width distance apart, and hips stacked over the knees. 
So you could either curl the toes under for more stability or you can keep the toes pointed and we'll move through cat-cow. So on the inhale, we'll drop the belly and tilt the pelvis back and lift the gaze up, slide the shoulders away from the ears. And then as you exhale, we'll curl the tailbone forward, draw the belly button to the back of the spine, gaze comes towards your belly button. Two more times, so inhale, Tilt the pelvis, draw your gaze up, heart comes forward. Maybe you close your eyes and as you exhale, round. Gently pushing the floor away from you, feeling your shoulder blades peel away from each other. Inhale, heart comes forward. Full exhale, so let the exhale guide you through the whole movement. Inhale, come back to neutral. We're gonna find puppy pose. So your hips stay exactly where they are and we're just gonna walk the hands forward and we're gonna melt our forehead and our chest down towards the mat. It's okay if they don't touch, it'll look different for everyone. And so find that sweet spot that feels good for you. And then tune back into your breath. Your inhalation is gonna guide you back up. So as you inhale, walk the hands back underneath your shoulders. Beautiful. So ground down through that right hand, gently tone the belly, find your stability. Weight is even through all hands and feet and knees. And you're going to inhale, lift the left arm up. Gaze follows your hand, inhale, look up. As you exhale, thread the needle. So left hand behind the right. Draw your left shoulder and left ear down towards the mat. Your left palm could stay flipped up. And just finding this shoulder stretch here, tapping into your breath. You're welcome to take your right hand behind to your low back, just an option. Or you can take your right hand to the inside of the left thigh. Start to spiral the right shoulder open, just an option. Take it to where it feels good for you. We don't ever want to feel pain. Just sensation is all right. And then on your exhale, release that right hand down. If it's not down already, bring your weight into that hand. Come right back to all fours tabletop. Ground down through that left hand, other side. Tone the belly slightly. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Follow your gaze with your hand. Exhale, right hand behind the left. Palm could face up. Right shoulder, right ear down. Left hand could stay down to the ground, to your low back, or maybe spirals and comes to the inside of the right inner thigh. Start to spiral the left shoulder open if that feels good for you. Connect to your breath. And on your exhale, release the left hand down if it's not already. Inhale, push the left hand down to the mat. And then from here, we're gonna draw our knees and our toes and ankles together. Tuck your toes under and we're gonna find a toe stretch. So bring your sit bones down towards your heels. Now this might be intense for some people, more intense for others if we're used to wearing shoes all day. You'll know what I mean. To seeing here, if you can soften, relax your shoulders down. Maybe you close your eyes and know that this is just temporary. We're stretching the muscles in our toes and our feet. Maybe you wanna get some shoulder rolls in here. Neck rolls. And then just take one more breath here. Exhale. 
bring your hands forward. You can just point your toes here, sit back onto your heels, and then start to walk your hands behind you, fingers facing your body. And then we'll slide the shoulders down the back, start to lift from the center of the chest forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then just start to find a stretch here in your chest, right in your heart. Keep your chin down if you have any pain in your neck, or you can bring your head in line with your spine, just not all the way back. As you breathe in, feel the expansion in your chest, maybe into your underarms as well. Exhale, soften. Beautiful. And then roll through the hands, feel that stretch through your fingers, and then come forward. We're gonna come onto the left sit bone, either or. Swing your legs forward, and then we'll roll ourselves back down onto the mat. Keep the knees bent, and let's come into a bit of a hip stretch. So thread the needle with our legs. So we're going to cross the right ankle over the left. Let the ankle clear the thigh. Right foot stays flexed. Maybe this is enough for you, and you can take your right hand and gently push the right thigh away. And then just breathing into the sensations here or you're welcome to take your right hand through in between the legs, lift the left foot up, and then interlace the hands behind the back of the left thigh. Now if you notice that this happens when you do that, maybe just ease right off. See if you can soften the shoulders. You can use a strap to extend the length of your arms, or you can just stay right here and work your way up to threading. So breathing into the sensations that you feel, keeping the right toes flexed, especially to protect your knee. gently release right leg comes off and then take your left ankle cross it over the right left ankle clears the right thigh left foot flexed left hand to left thigh gently push the, the thigh away staying right here or left hand comes in between the legs lift the right foot off interlace the hands behind the right thigh soften the shoulders Lengthen the back of the neck by drawing the chin slightly down. Connecting back to that breath. And then we'll slowly release, plant the right foot down, uncross, and then we'll find one last pose before our Shavasana. So find happy baby. So tailbone, just let that tailbone ground down. We're gonna draw the knees in, flex the feet, and then draw the knees towards the floor. Knees come wider than the body. Ankles stacked over the knees. So you can take your hands, elbows on the inside, and then grab either your shins, your ankles, peace fingers and thumb to your toes maybe, or outer edges of your feet. Just depends on how much flexibility you have. There's no right or wrong. And really flex the feet as if you're squatting against the ceiling. Relax the shoulders, relax the tailbone down, lengthen the back of the neck. And then you can stay still here, or maybe you want to rock it from side to side. And then we'll release. Give yourself a nice hug. Draw your knees in. Maybe you draw your nose towards your knees. Come into a tight ball. And then as you exhale, we'll find Shavasana. So legs long, as wide as the mat, palms down, sorry, backs of the hands down, palms facing up. Adjust as you need. Maybe you take a pillow underneath 
your head or a pillow underneath the backs of your knees if you feel this hurts your low back. Closing your eyes and then relaxing any effort of your breathing, maintaining a spark of awareness as you lay here in Shavasana in corpse pose. Just relaxing here, just absorbing the effects of your practice. in this state of receivership. You can stay here as long as you'd like. Namaste.